Do subscribe and click the bell icon for daily defense and space news update. AMCU update, India, a country who recently developed its own first indigenous fighter, LCA Tejas, which is single engine, single seat and multi-role fighter jet. But till India is not able to build its own engine which is the main powerhouse for any fighter jet but India, is developing it at a very fast rate. Does it sound realistic that a country who made IT's first jet recently after a long struggle, now he is thinking that he can make a fifth generation fighter which is capable to cope with fighter jets of countries like USA only country who have its own fifth generation fighter jet in operational state? Yes. India has many plans to do for its military, from its plan one is to develop a fifth generation fighter jet for its air force. Government. Promoting Indian defense player to come up and make good quality products so that country's need for defense would be fulfilled at domestic level as well as government. Aims to become a export player in defense manufacturing that's the backing defense manufacturer in India. Let's come to point on Halle MCA. In 2008, EAF asked Ada to prepare a detailed report on fighter which is of 20 ton and have some stealth feature. Air Force Chief asked this because of India's Air Force fleet aging and to remain and balance the power in the region India need a strong Air Force. But in 2010 requirements were changed by Air Force now they want 25 ton stealth fighter jet and they also asked Ada is AMCA's first prototype flight can take off by 2025? After the completion of study Ada found that they need at least 9000 crore for this project in which different technologies are developed and at least 7 prototype be prepared, they submitted this to government. In 2012 final design is approved by Air Force, after that HAL and ADA are working on this project with their full speed. ADA said that they will make first prototype by 2022, hope this statement by ADA will become true. AMCA is designed by ADA and manufactured by HAL. AMCA will be a single seat, twin engine, stealth multi-role fighter jet. First stage of AMCU is done and stage 2 work is started. Its first flight is scheduled in 2025. Not only Air Force but Navy also interested in this project, because Navy also want a naval version of this fighter. Navy also invested in this project. It is supposed that it will consist of all modern weapons and modern avionics, some of them are under development and remaining taken from Tejas, Rafael. Su-30 MK and other modern fighter jets. Speed of AMCA will be 2655 km per hour and this fighter jet will be powered by Cavery engine which is under development stage. AMC also consists of modern sensors, radars, missiles which will be a mix of Israel, India, Russia, France and some other technologies from India's friendly countries too. The broad requirements outlined for the AMC are to incorporate a high degree of stealth, a high internal and external weapons payload, high internal fuel capacity, and the ability to swing from an air-to-air -air roll to air to ground. It is also expected to have the ability to super cruise. This allows the aircraft to travel at supersonic speeds with greater endurance as the afterburners do not have to be used with the additional fuel usage. Even though future air combat has been envisaged as being beyond visual range excluding the likelihood of aerial dogfights as before, the AMC is expected to sport a thrust vectoring engine. The ADA is designed the AMC as a platform with high survivability, to meet the challenges of future air defense environments through a combination of moderate stealth, electronic warfare capability, sensors and kinetic performance. The design philosophy seeks to balance aerodynamics and stealth capabilities. The aircraft will have a weight of 16-18 tons. 16-18 tons with 2 tons of internal weapons and 4 tons of internal fuel. Combat ceiling will be 15 km, max speed of 1.8 Mach at 11 km. The AMCA will be powered by 2x90 knots engines with vectored nozzles.
AMC also comes with Selfa Protection Jammer System to jam enemy radar guided missiles from both air and ground. Electronic countermeasure systems to confuse the infrared guided missiles and a radar warning receiver too added to detect enemy radar frequencies. Most important part is engine and armaments. Although configuration of armaments are unclear, most probability it will carry Indian weapons. Or foreign weapons which are made in India. The part of the engine is still unclear. There is currently two options available. K9 Plus and K10 engine. K9 Plus engine is designed and developed in India. Which would be successor of Kavari. Second offer of K10 engine is that the engine will be made by joint venture with any foreign country. AMCA's primary purpose is multi-role fighter capability which includes air superiority mission, attack mission, strike role, precision targeting, interceptor, and bombing mission. As AMCA is intended to replace Supercat Jaguar and Dassault Mirage 2000 which are assigned role of multi-role aircraft with mainly fighter bomber role. It will fill the role along with the attack aircraft role as it is also going to replace Mikoy and MiG-27 and Mikoy and MiG-23. India not only depended on AMC because India also developing a fifth generation fighter with collaboration of its friendly nation Russia. India is developing at a very fast rate, as economy is emerging it need modern equipment for its protection. India has to develop its own defense product by which its reliability can be reduced. There is a wide scope of export of cheap and better quality which India can tap. India has enemies at its doorstep, China and Pakistan. AMC will play a role of game changer if India are able to make it in short span of time. Do subscribe and click the bell icon for daily defense and space news update. Thanks for watching.